Hello, um, today I'm going to build this Canon. It's a simple um, model. So let's start building this Canon. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to build this barrel. So let's start building that barrel. Probably I will uh, break this down into two videos. Uh, one to for the barrel and then one for the uh, you know the frame and then the wheels all right let's start so let's keep this uh, on a side or oh, let's um, create a new one um, channel save all right select the cube let's delete press X and then delete add mess cylinder tab into edit mode loop cut put a loop cut over here another loop cut somewhere here another one here and one in between those two um, i think we don't need that way we need one here and one more here another one here I think that's enough click on the um, the select tool select box tool and then paste selection mode click the top paste press I and then um, get somewhere here and then again I now E to extrude and then pull it down all right and now press 1 from your keyboard to get into front auto graphic click on this toggle x-ray make sure that you select face selection mode and then select first set of faces All right if you want you can uh, turn off that x-ray mode now scale press s and then zipped z now g to grab z to constrain to z axis put it up now click on the bottom piece extrude scale s to scale and um, again extrude s to scale mm, yep now i to insert and then e to extrude E again to extrude scale E to extrude again scale E to extrude E to extrude scale down E to extrude and then scale down and then I bring it very middle all right now let's pull this up outward a little bit uh, make sure that you select the edge selection mode and then the middle edge loop scale control B to bevel and then make it two uh, levels and then also do the same thing here scale and then control B okay and now I believe we need to put one more edge loop over here and then scale to make it like a control B so you get small geometry and then it will be like uh, 
okay and now yeah pretty much it and then now come to top part select the edge loop alt click on that loop and then grab along the axis slightly and also get edge loop put edge loop around here scale and also if you want you can bevel it all right now tab out of edit mode and then select the object go to object shade smooth uh, click on this object data properties under normals click on auto smooth um, let's go to um, modifier tab add modifier subdivision surface modifier o control 2 now you have subdivision surface modifier applied now let's make these edges a little bit sharp let's take a loop cut over here and then bring it very top to make that edge sharp and I believe we need to scale this up a little bit select that edge loop enable uh, proportional editing and then do scaling like that do the same thing here or click as to scale and now get a loop cut make this edge sharp by having a supporting edge loop do the same thing here and then top as well oh wrong side now this way all right one over here oh not that one one over here Okay, tab out of edit mode. Now you have a cannon barrel. Okay, inside you have some distortions. Tab into edit mode, get another loop cut, put one inside. All right, and then what else you can do is to remove that distortion, the very bottom face, press I to insert, and then get it to very middle of that face tab out of edit mode now you don't see that distortion there and then if you want you can make this part as uh, very sharp as well get a loop uh, loop cut and then put it somewhere here So to make that edge sharp, you can do that. And then this one as well. All right, tab out of edit mode. Now we have sharp edges around that. All right, so the basic shape of the barrel is done. Now what I want to do is I want to have ignition thread at tab out of uh, tab into edit mode and then click on this edge and then shift S cursor to selected tab out of edit mode add mess torus and then scale period from your numpad to focus on to that uh, selected object click on this and then see how 
uh, the axis are aligned I think we need to rotate along Y axis R Y R Y again okay now make it a little bit smaller I think that should do it again object uh, add mess cylinder scale scale zip C to make it like a thread now rotate Y okay now tap into edit mode of that uh, and then increase the number of loop cuts and select one loop cut enable proportional editing and then grab to make it uh, kind of like curved tab into object mode now you have your barrel so let's assign some uh, you know texture to the uh, to this barrel so that you feel like it's a uh, you know circus cannon right so I would like to see this edge little bit more sharp yeah yeah that should do it all right so let's go to um, uh, apply texture for this one I think uh, because we use uh, um, you know built-in shape like you know cylinder so this one should be already uh, UV mapped um, let's go and then select everything yeah that is to be mapped so what we need to do is we need to assign uh, we need to create a shading for this uh, shape and add an image texture click on add uh, search for image texture and then connect the color in output of the image texture texture to the uh, color input of uh, principal VSD and then click on open so I made one uh, texture before using illustrator so you can use any uh, image editing tool and uh, create a texture and then apply that one to this uh, model so let's uh, find you this one go to UV editing and then if you select all of the faces here you can see how we map that one come over here click on this sync tool so that if you select one from here you can see all you know are selected in this side as well so I want to select everything press A and then come over here move your mouse over here grab Y let's enable texture mode here so that you can see what you are doing come over here grab Y alright let's go back to uh, layout mode and then check your barrel sounds good so let's do some uh, more stuff for this one uh, let's make this one first first let's make this like a metal go to uh, select the barrel go to met, um, the material tab and then come down to metallic tab and then make it all the way to one and then re reduce the roughness slightly to make it like a you know metal barrel now tab into edit mode selection tool 
then I'm going to select this uh, H, uh, base loop shift alt click on the other one and then press ctrl plus from the numpad to increase the, uh, the selection area come over here to the material tab click on plus to add one more slot click on new and then assign click on this uh, color tab color picker and then select maybe like a metallic uh, you know gold color little bit dark gold and uh, come down to metallic part make it all the way metallic and then roughness reduce maybe to point two or something now it is something like gold do the same thing for this shift all click this and uh, control plus from key for uh, numpad to add more for spaces to that select the metal part click on assign all right now this part and um, add a new slot new assign click on this get a blue color I think we need to increase the uh, selection slightly control plus and assign all right let's assign some colors here control plus plus okay add a new slot new assign now this time get red okay and then over to metal section metallic metallic and then roughness slightly and then the same thing for the blue make it metallic and the roughness to be slightly less all right tab out into the object mode all right this is your barrel uh, let's do the same thing here and then select the you know golden color for that for this one add a new one let's make it uh, you know dark gray all right so this is your barrel all right I think that's that's pretty much it for this uh, uh, tutorial I want to make it uh, keep it short so next day i will build uh, the i will build that uh, wheels as well as the, uh, the the frame so that we can finish our canon all right hope you enjoy this uh, uh, part of this, part of the tutorial uh, thanks for watching